Hi, everybody. Welcome to Get Real with Andy. This episode is about pleasure. And pleasure is so central to the human experience. We encounter it really early on when we're infants. Uh, in fact, Sigmund Freud said about babies, are you ready for this? He called babies polymorphous perverse, meaning that babies can get pleasure out of anything. And the fact that the word perverse is in there, I think that says a lot about where he was at. But really, pleasure is something that is so seductive. We focus on it. We fixate on it. Man, I tell you, when puberty hit, I was, just, you know, I, I didn't have a patent on it, but most everybody pursues pleasure. And then along with that, we end up navigating our lives by pursuing pleasure and avoiding pain. Freud said that the main event was the pleasure principle. But I say avoidance of pain is even stronger than that. And that result of that is that we navigate our lives between the poles of pleasure and pain. Pleasure, we could never have enough of. And pain, we always have too much of. I know that when people are experiencing pain, that never seems to have an end. Because most things, pleasure and most pain, have a beginning, a middle, and an end. But when pain seems like it's never going to end, people don't want to live. They will often kill themselves. And that's true about physical pain, emotional pain, and mental pain. So here we are between these opposites of pleasure and pain. And eventually, as we get older, we simply can't get away with pursuing pleasure and avoiding pain. Pain seems to have found its way into old age. You know, my mother used to say, getting old isn't for sissies, because, you know, pains find you, unless you live a really pristine, healthy lifestyle, which most people don't, and don't choose. And even then, pleasure, it seems to wane. You know, the forces of entropy are taking us all down. It's taking everything down. And then we, if we're lucky or graced or fortunate, we will look within to see if there's something available that's beyond pleasure and pain. And the good news is that there is something that is beyond or behind pleasure and pain. The fact that I'm alive, that I exist, means that I have the capacity to do all these things and to feel pleasure and, and or pain. And if I could focus on that original life force, I think I would be more free from both pleasure and pain. I believe Buddha referred to that as the middle path. You know, that's my interpretation. Obviously, I prefer, most people prefer pleasure to pain. I'm saying that they're flip sides of the same coin, but most people don't choose pain. It is interesting to me that people who are shut down, will inflict pain on themselves in order to awaken their feeling life. And I think that is one of the functions of pain. It actually awakens us. It sensitizes us. And we need pain because we've desensitized ourselves to the point where we don't feel anything. And it takes pain to awaken us. That's why even sexually, there's bondage and you know whipping and all that kind of stuff that's how far we've drifted from the real pleasure, the real deep enjoyment of life. You know, there is a difference between pleasure and happiness and contentment, a vast difference. But when we make no distinction between pleasure and joy, we're, we're cruising for a bruising because those things just don't last. All right. I'm saying all this so that I can hear the message loud and clear. Go deep. Go within. All right. Thank you. <laughs>